Okay, and yourself? All right, what can I help you with? I have something that is very rare. It is a 1980s model of a brother word processor. I never used one of these. I wouldn't even know how to use it today. <laughs> came down to the pawn shop to try to sell my 1980s word processor. I would like to get somewhere around $100. I'd like to sell it because I no longer have any use for it. Where did you get this thing? I bought it new. What year did you buy it? About 84. Why did you buy a computer? They didn't have them yet. Oh yeah, in 84 they had plenty of computers. In 1984, whether a computer or this thing, it was really cool to be able to store a document. You could reprint it. A lot of times, they had to retype things. Right. Bristol computers have been around since the late 1970s. The first ones barely did more than a typewriter. Why don't we try to see if you like it? I'd just like to see if the thing boots up. Switch on the side. Okay, here we go. Start typing text. Press file when finished. It's on, though. Tell us this is just like the current laptop. All-in-one portable. Here is a Daisy Wheel printer. The 1984 Daisy Wheel was a big deal. It had a typewriter head on it, and it would go in there and type like a typewriter where you got a full font, as opposed to dot matrix, which was a bunch of dots. Believe it or not, some courts didn't recognize dot matrix printing as an actual legal document. This is like some sort of old-school hybrid between a computer and a typewriter. The problem is it's not old enough or on enough to interest collectors. What were you looking to do with this thing? I was looking to sell it. How much did you want for it? Well, I paid six for it. Uh-huh. I would like to get somewhere in the neighborhood of two. I would give you ten bucks for it. I mean, you know, this thing was antiquated when it was sold. Remember, the Macintosh came out in 85. It's old, but it's not old enough. The least I'll take for it is $100. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 20 bucks for it so you don't have to tote it home. Something, but no thanks. Okay. I mean, thanks for bringing it in. It was neat to look at. Thank you, gentlemen. When the fellas looked at it, it was obvious that they just had no use for it. They knew what they were doing, and they had a right to it because it's their money.